this review, Queens Garden, Bryce, Bryce Canyon. Canyon, Utah. Okay, location, this is in Bryce Canyon, Utah. You said that. <laughs> Just making sure we have to put the this map. This is in southwest Utah. Accessibility <laughs> is a very easy hike to get to once you get to Bryce Canyon. You're going to go to do the uh, sunset. Sunsets and sunrises. <laughs> Point. Sunset point, or and then you can actually start at sunset to go to sunrise point, or vice versa. Or you can start at sunrise to go to sunset, and then go to wherever you go. <laughs> start at one of the sunrises or sets. It's really nice, and make your way to Queen's Garden. Okay, I think it's sunrise point that has the actual start of the Queen's Garden trail. Yes. <laughs> okay, parking no problem here as well. You got plenty of parking. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, fees for entrance. Uh, this is uh, twenty dollars because it's a national park. Yes. Unless when, you have the uh, national parks. Right. When we went, it was um, national parks week, so we got in free. Okay. Level of difficulty. Okay, I thought this was a very easy hike, personally. I thought it was, okay, it was easy to moderate. Um, you're dealing with elevation. elevation because you're at an eight thousand plus feet when you start off with the hike. And then you descend into the canyon. Ideal time and season. Um, I'd say spring. Spring, but yeah, as we were saying, it's it's pretty muddy sometimes because the the snow is melting right. and most of the trail was mud. Right. Just, in, the, in the winter time, they're gonna get ninety inches of snow there. Yeah, yeah lots it's, of snow. It's just mud to me. And uh, deep, sucky mud. <laughs> Summertime, watch out um, with the thunderstorms. And then the um, the heat, because it's pretty exposed. Um, yes. Scenery was spectacular. As usual. This is one of the prettiest national parks, I think. I think it's even prettier than, um, what was it, Grand Canyon? Yeah, because it's just so... Different. I don't know, the so views, intimate. Um, are unbelievable, geographic. geologically. <laughs> Gonna have to get snow for that one. <laughs> the um, um, snow the, logo and lady logo joined us on this hike. Right. The um, <laughs> <laughs> the colors in the rocks are unbelievable, yeah. especially when you know at sunrise or sunset. It's incredible. Yes. Okay, how's the uh, wilderness factor on this hike? Wilderness factor is zilch, I think. Yeah, a lot of people on the hike. Tons of people. This is actually one of the easiest hikes to get into the canyon itself. Right, and so maybe... You... The, and it's one of the hikes that was actually open because the other one, Navajo Trail, was closed. Yes. Um, wildlife was n none to talk about. Uh, yeah. I didn't see any. Not going to see any big animals. Um, I'm sure there might be some in the canyon, but um, not was, on this side. Didn't they say there were like goats in the canyon? Yeah, I, they 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 say also they they come across um, mountain lions occasionally at the bottom of the canyon, but not up on the hoodoos and up towards the rim of the trail. We saw some deer. Remember that when we were driving? No. Well, I'll roll in the footage, and there are the deer. Here. Okay, she was taking pictures of them. <laughs> I did. I, uh -huh. Yeah. Um, phobias, uh, steepophobia, falling maybe. rock phobia. You do have to worry about the hoodoos crashing. Agoraphobia. There's a lot of people. Yeah, there's really not too much in the way of snakes or heights. I mean, yeah. you're going down, but the the path is really well. But maintained. some parts are a little, a, a bit of a drop off and. Nothing that's going to no. prevent you from, I think, getting out of okay, this. Trail conditions. Um, without the rain, excellent trail conditions. Right. The, the path is very well... You, you can't miss the path. It's like... It's straight... Um, there's only one path, really. Right. <laughs> to see. Um, it was kind of tricky trying to find the Peekaboo Trail at the bottom. Because the garden trail, the Queen's Garden Trail just ends. And the Peekaboo right. Trail is supposed to be around there, but we... I don't... And I'm not sure if we found it or not. We just went and we saw another trail and we followed that. We followed the, the trail, the, the end of the Navajo Trail. Right. Facilities and eats. Um, there was... There's a the lodge. Top. Yeah, there's none on the trail. Yeah. Um, 
there, but there's like a ton of food around outside the trail. Right. Um, the no facilities at the top of the trail, beginning of the trail, was really good. Right, but there's once you're on the trail and down in the in the canyon, there's nothing. Yeah. Bring your own, and I didn't even yeah. see any blueberries. Okay, <laughs> distance. This was approximately a three point six mile hike. Um, we we actually went a little bit further. We extended it to the um, part of the Navajo Trail. Right. So we're not sure how long it was, but it was pretty. Um, and people on the trail, there were like lots of families I saw. Yeah. Yeah, people with the pretty young kids too, because it's a pretty um, even trail. Okay, um, we also like to give a special thanks to Snow and Lady Lobo. Um, they joined us on this particular hike and it was really cool out. We actually hiked and camped out with them, which was really fun and they're excellent people. All I could say is... Uh, it was fun. Yeah, it was we really need to nice. do it again. <laughs> yes, we will do it again. Okay. Yeah. Matt and Kim, I hike around. Parking. Very, there's plentiful parking. Plent plentiful. <laughs> plentiful parking. Plentiful parking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> parking.